Now here's the latest community conversations on enhancing mental health services at Central Park here in Rancho Cucamonga. Recent studies show that at least 16% of high school students report having been bullied electronically in the last 12 months. In the age of the internet, cyberbullying has become a very real problem that can have permanent effects on the victims and lead to destructive and even deadly behavior. Healthy RC tackled the topic of cyberbullying at a recent mental health symposium. This event specifically want, with, deals with cyberbullying and with the effect and also the impact it has on the teen community and as well as what parents can do to really target um, their parenting skills to address and talk to their teens. And the negative impact of cyberbullying on our community and our local youth can have devastating and long-term effects. We really want parents to be talking to their teens about mental health, about cyberbullying. We want teens to talk to their peers, teachers to be talking about it. We want you know, local government to be talking about it, our community organizations, and really trying to change the culture of uh, mental health here in this community. So the idea of the Mental Health Symposium on Cyberbullying was to address the problem and find solutions. In Rancho Cucamonga, as a youth, we take cyberbullying extremely serious because it affects so many people every day. A large number of community members, parents, and teenagers attended the symposium, which featured experts in the area of cyberbullying, like Clark Morrow from the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department. It's become something of an epidemic and a real problem, uh, regardless of the school, regardless of the age of the individuals involved. We see it everywhere. It's becoming a huge problem because it's affecting so many young people emotionally, psychologically. Uh, it's resulting in an epidemic of teenage suicide among young girls, for, for example. So we see it all over the place and we need to do something about it. Morrow says one of the things that fuels cyberbullying is something called FOMO, which stands for fear of missing out. Teens in particular are worried they may miss something in their social circles, so they're repeatedly checking and posting to social media. You know where to go to see what everybody is saying about you and your school. And you can't stay away from those sites. you got to go to them. In the old days, if you were being bullied at school, you could go away for the weekend. You could leave Friday afternoon, get away from the bully, stay away from them all weekend, go back and face them on Monday. That doesn't happen anymore. Kids are being bullied 24-7. But there are things that can be done. Morrow says parents need to take an active role in monitoring and controlling their children's social media activities. The best thing for parents to do is go to a website called safesmartsocial.com. It's all one word, safesmartsocial.com. It'll tell you everything you need to know about what you can do to control your kids and their use of social media and how they're abusing it. The Cyberbullying Symposium also featured a panel of local students who talked about the realities of electronic bullying. With this generation and this society so technology driven, it's just hard to get away from cyberbullying, which is incredibly terrible. So that's why I'm passionate about it and passionate about fixing it. And other teens agreed that events like this one go a long ways in opening the doors of communication so more parents and families are aware of the problem and can do something about it. Um, I really enjoyed this evening. It helps parents and teens find out what cyberbullying, how it affects people and how cyberbullying can lead to suicide and what can prevent it. And these young people even had advice for their fellow students when it comes to cyberbullying. I would tell the kids out there to respect everybody online and to don't put yourself in a position where you're going to be hurting other people. Healthy RC encourages parents and family members to talk to their children about the danger of social media and cyberbullying. And again, a great source of information and guidance can be found at safesmartsocial.com. I'm David Wiley for Healthy RC Living.